Hello. So, to date, we have spent quite a lot of time now developing our theory of derivatives and looking at a number of applications. But sort of worthwhile question would be, can we reverse this process? And even if we could, would that actually be useful? So let's look at a sort of classic example and see what happens. So remembering right from our Newtonian mechanics section, um, we can sort of start with a equation that gives us the position, right? This S of t, position at a time t. We can take the derivative, that gets us V of t, and that's our function for the velocity. And we could take another derivative to get A of t, and that would be our function for acceleration. So here, our A of t is negative 9.8, velocity, right, was negative 9.8 t plus 20. Okay, but what if we started with the acceleration function rather than starting with the position function? So in particular, if we start with a of t, we could try to use that and deduce what the velocity function could have been that gave us that acceleration function, right? And doing this, right, just sort of thinking through the process, well, we get constants after we take the derivative of a line, and here we have a constant negative 9.8, so the slope of that velocity graph should be negative 9.8, for every point, right? That's what the A of t equaling negative 9.8 is telling us. So it should be a line then with a slope of negative 9.8. Okay, so a worthwhile option here, V of t is negative 9.8 t. It's a line, has a slope of negative 9.8 everywhere. Seems like it checks all the boxes. But wait, right? Our actual V of t was this negative 9.8 t plus 20 which wasn't quite what we just figured out, right? So like we went through what seemed to be perfectly valid thought process and we came up with a V of T that was somehow not the correct V of T. So what gives, right? Well, remember when you take a derivative of a constant, that constant is, right, that, that result is zero, right? The constant goes to zero, which means there's no way to tell what that constant was. And this is essentially what's happening in our example, right? So the V of t we deduced, right, that we got from trying to work backwards was this negative 9.8 t plus zero, right, where I'm sort of recording what that constant is. But the real V of t was this negative 9.8 t plus 20. And so one of them had a constant of 20, one had a constant of zero. That was the difference between the two. But taking a derivative would sort of kill both of those values equally. Right? So although we can sort of kind of reverse this process, we can't quite do it perfectly. So the problem is, is that we can sort of work our way back to a point, but we don't really know if there was sort of a constant attached to our function. So this kind of thing is called an initial condition. So initial condition is information that was lost as a result of taking this derivative, okay? So um, in terms of like vocabulary, this, this V of t that we deduced up here, this would be called an antiderivative. Um, so this is an example of a function whose derivative would be the same as what we wanted for the A of t, just like this one is. These are both examples of antiderivatives. Um, and the sort of takeaway here is that those, even though they both have the same result when you take the derivative, they are themselves not the same. So there's something sort of problematic about that, right? So this is the problem where we can't sort of perfectly work our way back. We're losing some information there, okay? So what do we do? So the process of taking a derivative can be reversed, but not fully. Um, and the reason for this is that taking a derivative is sort of inherently a destructive process. It obliterates some of the initial condition information. It's just lost forever once we have done that. Um, so as a result, trying to reverse this process inevitably runs into the problem that any answer that we sort of come up with is missing some of that initial condition information. So there's some way that we sort of have to tackle that or acknowledge that if we're going to try to come up with a systematic way of reversing this. That's something that we're going to see in the future. Okay, so that is that.